Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So, this is a little bit different video. Um, I am attempting to make a uh, project bag and I'm very picky and I wanted something extra. So, um, it's not going to be just one pocket uh, like a lot of the ones that I have seen. And so, I've already been working on this like over an hour because it's just taking me so long to cut everything. And since I'm figuring it out on my own, I'm having to measure everything and I'm double and triple checking my measurements and stuff. So this is what I have. And can you believe I already ironed this and it's already all wrinkled again? So, um, yeah, I couldn't get the lines out. Just, it is what it is. So I have two pieces of material. This is going to be my inside material. It is a sparkly, like opalescent uh, off white. Uh, I have another, this is the outside and it's the exact same size as this one. So this is the, what the outside is going to look like and it matches the grime guard that I made, uh, last time. So that's that. Then I also have a piece of stabilizer that is slightly larger just cause that's, um, it already came like an inch larger than my fabric. And so, um, this is 40, let me see, this is a stabilizer that I'm using. It's Palin uh, 40 Midweight Stabilizer. I have can't remember how much this costs, but I got it at Walmart. It comes in a roll. Um, and so I cut a piece of that the same size as the fabric. And I also have these two inch strips of vinyl because I want to make a space for bobbins because some of my projects are on bobbins and some of them aren't. And so if I'm going to make a bag, I figured I might as well do it to compensate for the bobbins now, even though I'm not using bobbins for the project that I'm using, I'm going to take the time and add the strips for the bobbins anyway. So that's that. Um, and then... Let me see what else. Uh, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a picture of the idea that I'm getting this off of. And then I'm also considering doing something else for um, keeping my floss straight. So I'm honestly, even though I've got the strips cut, I just, I have several projects that I've already have bobbinated and that's why I want to do this. But after those projects are done or when I'm done with the floss that I have on bobbins, I honestly think I'm not even going to do bobbins anymore because I like the method of keeping the floss straight. So let me show you guys. Um, it's the way that the kits come, like when you order AliExpress stuff, but this is how I am doing the witchy stitcher, um, this one, the chopping them all. And I put them all on, I made a cardstock thing. I just labeled everything and this is how I have been doing it. I even have, for this one, I have two, you can see I have another one in here. Um, and so I just honestly really like this method so much better because everything, I cut these myself off of the skeins. Um, what I did was I unrolled the entire skein, folded it in half, folded it in half again and again until it was a length that I liked. And then I cut it long enough to where they were a good length here and just stuck them on here. Very similar to how a kit would come from AliExpress. And I honestly am so in love with this just because I like my pieces pre-cut. I hate having to measure it. I hate having to think about how many stitches I can get with it or how long it's going to be. I waste more floss when they're on bobbins because I cut two pieces that are too long or too short. Um, and it's just a headache. So yeah, the next one, I'm going to do something that's going to hold these where I can just like fold and fold. And then at some point, I think this is going to have like another piece to it that'll compensate these. So that being said, um, enough rambling. I'm going to move on with this and keep you guys updated with how it goes. Okay, you guys, so it is a lot later, probably like an hour later. This is what I have done so far. I used um, a dry erase marker to make these lines so that I can just wipe them off. And I got everything sewn on here. I'm still pretty new to sewing, so I have all of these like where I went back and over just to secure the stitches. Um, 
I'll get better at that, but it is what it is. Uh, my bottom ones look a lot better than my top ones do, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know how much of this edge you're going to be able to see because this is going to be folded into a seam and it's going to look a little bit better, hopefully. So yeah, this is what I have and I'm going to probably start putting the backing maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I just, we'll see what happens. So I didn't update the process of this because I couldn't decide how I was going to do the edge. I went back and forth on this. I just knew that I did not want to use bias tape in the future. Mm, maybe I might use bias tape. It'll save all the folding because then I can just cut it to size and use the bias tape. And the bias tape is definitely going to help with the corners because you can tell my corners aren't going to be perfect and that's okay. Um, that you, that's kind of how you figure out how to do things, right? So um, I'm going to sew this now. This is what I decided on. I figured once this um, the seam is here, it's going to kind of almost look like bias tape. And then I couldn't decide if I was going to fold like the tan one inward and cover the white or if I was going to fold the white one outward and cover the tan. Ultimately, I decided to fold them in like this. And so there's two um, like lips here and then they're just going to be sewn together and that's it. I'm going to go over somewhere in between like probably right here so it's going to be pretty close to the edge. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sew that now and um, see where it goes. Oh, the only thing that I'm missing is some Velcro. I'm probably going to use some Velcro for this part um, to add on a bag because I'm thinking of still making a project bag with a zipper um, and that could be taken in and out. I'm not 100% sure yet. I might put a couple strips of Velcro and make a couple of different sized bags for this specific one to put like scissors and stuff in so we'll see. All right you guys so yes I'm sorry I'm in a different spot. I cannot this camera it's just no mas no all right um so these are the bags i've ended up making now this one ended up not coming out the way that i wanted it is just too big and i think i'm going to have to do some like restructuring with it um i'll pull it out right now i'll show you guys so I'm over here because my sewing table is covered in floss and I'm just not ready to move it yet because I'm still organizing it. So um, this is what I ended up having. So I put um, a strap on it because I needed to. Now originally I was planning on making this for a Q-snap but... Um, I think I'm going to use a hoop on this project, not for any particular reason, it's just I'm working with what I have and I don't have enough Q-snaps. Now, comparing these, they look about the same size-ish, so I'm not like 100% sure like why this one is just functioning so difficult. <laughs> But I think it's just because it's the hoop. So maybe I'll do a Q-snap with it. But this thing that I made is definitely more suited for a Q-snap. So I did put a strap on it and I did make the strap out of Velcro. So, or not, I didn't make it out of Velcro, but I used the Velcro. And then I just used um, some fabric glue because um, I should have sewed it in the seams. And don't mind the all the grass on my floor I have dogs um because I didn't sew it in the seam before because I didn't think I would want straps and so I it honestly didn't even occur to me so I just used fabric glue and it came out it came out pretty good I'm actually very happy with it um this the strap anyway I only sewed one um what is this seam because it was a piece that I had left over so I just um, folded it in half 
and I was going to do this side so that it would match, but then I figured, you know what, just what for, I don't care, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, oh, it's upside down. So this is the library fairy. I've talked to you guys about this project before because this is one that I started um, and then had to frog and redo it. So um, I haven't restarted it again. This is all the floss that I currently have for her. And then there's some more in this pouch. And then the pattern is here. So when I was putting it together, I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to put on this side. So I was thinking maybe like an, a pocket so that I could put um, the paperwork and stuff in here. And that's something that I still might do is put a pocket here because it'll still fit perfectly here so that I could put the pattern and stuff. Um, and I think I just might use like um, those clear like presentation folders and I might just um, either... I'm not going to sew it because if I sew it, then it'll come out on this end. And, you know, I should have done that before. But I just, I was very undecisive what I was going to do on this side. So I figured, you know what, if I'm going to do anything, I'll just use some Velcro. And that's what I did for this little pouch that I ended up making as I used it Velcro. So, you know, anything, I can even take this pouch off and use it for something else. Um, But, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. And those presentation folders are pretty thick, so I think I might just stick one on here with some corners of Velcro and call it a day. Um, by the way, don't buy your Velcro at Walmart. Buy your Velcro at Hobby Lobby because it is like half the price even without a coupon. So, yeah, this is the first little bag that I've ever made. So I messed up on one of the, over here on the seam. Totally didn't even catch the edge there, but you know what? It is what it is. It's my first bag. I did pretty good, especially considering I had to do a zipper and everything all on my own, never doing it before. <laughs> so I have several projects that are um, bobbins and bobbinated. And so I had, I didn't, well, I didn't have to, but I put these um, little squares in and I know, don't mind all my back stitching. Um, the pattern that I found actually says to... Well, no, I didn't find the pattern. I went off of a photo, but the photo that I found uses, um, like, a bias tape in, on each of these, um, like, seams for um, the pockets. I was not about to mess with that. <laughs> so, if I would have done that, I could use some black bias tape and totally hit all of these stitches, and it still would have looked really neat. Um, it would have just looked a lot nicer, but to be honest, I... Number one, I don't have the patience to make my own bias tape. And number two, it's expensive. And I'm not about to spend all that on this. So, I mean, I don't plan on selling this or anything. So, you know, it is what it is. So, I have enough pockets to fill what I do have bobbinated. And then if I ever want to use this for another project, I have, you know, the space to put bobbins, which I don't plan on. I have one two let me see where's my whip been dang it it's way over there three where's janessa i think i have three or four projects kitted up that have bobbins i honestly think it's only three but you know it is what it is so that's what that ended up looking like i'm pretty happy with it overall i just it's too big for the hoop way too big for the hoop so I do have an extra Q snap that I think I'm going to use and maybe put her on there, but I'm not 100% sure. I just, I don't know. I really don't. I really want to order some more of the plastic frames from uh, AliExpress. Why? Oh, it's because it's supposed to be folded from AliExpress, but I just haven't had the chance. You can see here, I ended up folding the edges in because it was just way too big but if I put um a q-snap in here these folded edges make more sense so when I first folded them I considered just chopping them off but I thought you know what it's still good provides good protection if I decide to put a q-snap in here and this will fit an 11 by 11 q-snap very easily without any of the edges showing around it and I don't know what the next size up from 11 by 11 Q-snap is. That's my favorite size. I have a whole bunch of that size. But it'll probably fit the next size up just the same. So 
What I've been doing is so that the frame, the hoop doesn't fall out, is just folding it like this and keeping it this way. Um, and nothing's falling out. Oh, and in that little pouch that I have um, Velcro on there, I have more floss that I haven't bobbinated or put on the floss card. So there's that. Let me put this back. And then I ended up making some project bags. So this is the first project bag that I made. So um, tons of dog hair on it. I ended up, um, so I go to the thrift store a lot. We have a thrift store here called Savers that is a freaking amazing and sometimes they don't have good material there and this time they had some amazing material and the material is six bucks for a freaking ton like oh my god I probably got I can't even think let me see there was a yard um it was bigger than a fat quarter because I was able to make this whole thing and I have two small scraps left over so this was probably half a yard and then this one, I probably have two yards and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got at least 10 to 15 yards, probably closer to 15 because there's two um, fabrics there that are probably three or four yards. And then this one too, I think is about two-ish yards and it might even be more actually because I have enough to make at least two more bags out of it. So it might even be more. Um, anyway, so these are two of the materials that I got in there, and I have some other gorgeous ones. Um, I'm just waiting. I think I'm going to order the zippers off Amazon because I've been buying the zippers at Walmart, and they're $1.77 <laughs> for the regular zippers. There's my cat trying to come in. <laughs> um, they're $1.77 per zipper, and they never have the colors that I want. So I think I'm just going to order a pack off Amazon. I saw that they have a 100 pack for between 10 and 15 bucks depending on um the length that you need so yeah anyway this is the first project bag that i made i love it there's nothing wrong with it except it's a little too large um i ended up having a ton of space up here at the top and um the width was perfect i have maybe an inch um left on the width so again this might even accommodate a bigger q snap um because this is an 11 by 11 q snap in here. I don't know if they have a 12 by 12, but if they did, this would fit perfectly. So let me open it for you. Okay, so what I did was um, I sewed in some of the Palin lining. I talked about this at the beginning um, of the video when I was using it for the other one. This ended up working magnificently for this. Um, it's definitely a favorite and it's definitely affordable. I think I paid $5 and I had enough for three full-size project bags and enough left over for maybe a second one or I mean maybe a fourth one. Um, I have also have an 8x8 Q-snap and so I think I'm going to make a smaller bag for an 8x8 because I just don't see having to use one of these giant ones for an 8x8 so there's that um but yeah so i lined the inside with the palin lining came out beautifully again absolutely love the way that it came out um i didn't know what i was going to use for the lining and i had already had that for this i wasn't even planning on making these but i figured you know what i really want some project bags so i'm just going to give it a whirl and see um you know so yeah also my first time working with zippers so I, I think I'm getting the hang of it and then <clears throat> I just have what project do I have in here Let's see there's some more bobbins again oh this is my Janessa project so see some of these are on bobbins and so far I'm just I still have them in here because I think I'm going to make another bag for um floss uh hanging hanging floss like floss card floss because that's I think that's how I'm going to do all of my floss from now on is to keep it on a floss card of some sort and I'm using the the Annie's keeper style organization or I'm going to convert to that and so I think I'm going to make some kind of bag that's going to hold the floss straight and maybe fold in half um <clears throat> I think it's going to be um better than just keeping everything thrown in the bag like this especially because I am trying to get away from bobbins and then here is my 11 by 11 frame. 
just like that it fits in here perfectly I also made um, this grime guard oh no I missed a spot on my sewing I this one I messed up so bad there's the seam um, this one I messed up so bad I think it was just the material because it's kind of silky and it's just so thin that I kept screwing up you can see here where I have like so much back stitching um, with the machine it's seriously like every inch there's freaking back stitching because I just was not having it <laughs> with this grime guard at all um, I did make some adjustments like I was telling you guys before when I made the first grime guard video so these adjustments are definitely working a lot better um, I'm gonna make another one today and I definitely know the other adjustment like it you can see my back stitching doesn't even line up right there um definitely are the adjustments I'm gonna be making and I think it is gonna be even more better suited for my needs anyway then this is the last project pad that I made yesterday I had like an hour left and I was like you know what I'm just gonna hurry up and make another bag and hopefully it works I messed up on this one too because of the way that I cut the material I accidentally cut two pieces to make two bags and <clears throat> hold on I need a drink of my coffee before it gets cold I cut it in such a way that I made two pieces and I started sewing them and I was thinking this is not right why am I doing it this way <laughs> and then I realized and so I have another piece to make another bag of this exact same size so I think I'm going to do that and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might, I don't know if I'm going to use it myself because I kind of want all of my bags to be different and so I don't under, like not, I just don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So this one I modified because I felt like this one, like I said a minute ago, was just too, a little bit too big on the top um, and so I adjusted it. Um, I don't think I cut anything off of the sides. I think I did like half an inch maybe um, on the sides if I'm not mistaken, which is still perfect. You can tell I don't have a lot of space as much as the other one here. My corners came out pretty decent on this one too. And then my zipper came out even better. And look at I don't have as much space on the top. So this is the perfect size. So because I have another piece of material the exact same size, I'm just going to measure it and take those measurements down. And that is going to be my project size or my size that I'm going to be using for the project bags to make them anyway. So absolutely love it. And then let me get this one open. I put the zipper on backwards. Um, honestly, to me, it doesn't even matter. The other one opened this way and this one opens that way, but it is what it is. To me, it doesn't matter. I don't know if it matters to other people, but whatever. So in this one, I have my chopping wall. Fits perfectly. I have the pattern um, back here. I have floss and more pieces of the pattern back here. This one is one that I'm keeping on floss cards that I absolutely love. I get out. Except that, oh, hold on, you're all blurry. Come on, camera, get it together. There we go. Except that, um, because it doesn't fit anywhere, I have to keep like wrapping it around the floss card, and it's getting pretty annoying. So that's why I'm hoping to come up with um, a bag that I can put the floss cards in <clears throat> where they're all straight and hanging down and then I can just fold the bag up once so it's smaller and everything fits accordingly and then I think the floss cards because they're pretty big I think I'm going to cut them in half like right in between it's hard to do this one-handed right in between here I think I'm going to cut it in half that way it'll fit better in um so that there's only floss hanging on one side I think it's going to work though and it should fit in here perfectly without an issue so yeah there we have it and I also I wanted the zipper um at least an inch down like this because I just I just like that method better than um like putting it at the top and so this side for the zipper came out pretty good 
except it doesn't go all the way uh, because this zipper was smaller than the other zipper. For this one, I used a 14 inch zipper and for the, the purple one, I used an 18 inch zipper. So I was able to close up my zipper seams a little bit more. Um, the thing that sucks about zippers is like, honestly, this is like not even a full inch. And then the same thing on this side, you have this tiny little piece here, like maybe a quarter of an inch and the zippers go from 14 to 18. So it sucks having to waste four inches of zipper for, or three inches of zipper because I only need about another inch to close the edge here but honestly that doesn't bother me and I think mm, I think the bag would be too tight if I would have made my seam right here you're blurry again if I would have made my seam right here I think it would have been too tight of a squeeze to get the Q snap in here and I didn't want to be struggling with it so I just left it like that it should be fine there's it's not you know it's not like I'm gonna go hiking with the bag or anything <laughs> so yeah, and I've already showed you guys that gram card. It's still holding up very well. Um, I just, it's irritating because I do need to move it a lot to get to where I need to stitch because it's so big. But yeah, there it is, you guys. The, those are my project bags. Probably going to make another one today. I'm not 100% sure. I have a few things to do um, today's Sunday. I might have time because it, my kids don't have school tomorrow because um, of Martin Luther King Day or Junior Day. And no idea when this video is going to go up, but you know, we'll see. So I will probably anything else because I had already started this video, um, making this project bag here. So anything else, um, project bag wise coming up, I might just, um, include that in my, um, uh, floss two videos instead, instead of making a dedicated video. So yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.